Republicans block critical aid as millions of Americans go hungry on Christmas Eve. That's the headline today, or more simply, on his birthday, Congress forgets what Jesus would do. Democrats followed Trump's lead. They proposed direct payments for $2,000 to every American, and Republicans blocked it, disingenuously demanding that Congress revisit foreign aid first. All right, let's stop right there and talk about this because it's important. We spend more on foreign aid than any other country. However, it's a smaller share of our economy than any other advanced nation. It's consistently less than 1%. Tiny. Most of this aid doesn't just get handed over to other governments. It goes to development and humanitarian programs that produce real results as opposed to the monstrous amounts of money that we give away to defense contractors. Globally coordinated foreign aid can be very effective policy. Here are a few facts from the Brookings Institute. We've had a massive impact on extreme poverty from 36% of the world's population to 8%. Maternal, infant, and child mortality rates have been cut in half. Life expectancy rose from 65 to 72. Smallpox has been defeated. Polio has been eliminated in all but two countries. And deaths from malaria cut in half. The US PEPFAR program has saved 17 million lives from HIV AIDS and saved 2.4 million babies from being born with HIV. This is what foreign aid is for. And to be more blunt, what politics is for. Taking care of each other. So we have a thriving, well-fed, well-housed, well-educated, and advanced civilization that our tiny blue planet can be proud of. So back to this stimulus bill. It's less than half the size of the original relief package that Congress passed nine months ago, when economists were warning that the government was doing nowhere near enough to save millions of Americans from hunger and homelessness. And to that point, a single $2,000 check's not going to be enough. Back in May, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris called for $2,000 a month with Senators Ed Markey and Bernard Sanders and Andrew Yang and many others. Democratic leadership needs to tell the American people in no uncertain terms that if they win the Georgia Senate races, they're going to pass a $2,000 per month universal basic income. They can call it a $12,000 a year tax cut, since Americans prefer that kind of language. President-elect Biden has pledged to restore the soul of America. He's a Catholic. As his religion states, faith without works is dead. We discussed on yesterday's show that $175 billion a year would end global poverty in 20 years. That's less than 1% of the combined income of the richest countries in the world. That is a worthy vision, worth our time and attention and effort that should be what the Democratic Party stands for. The word democracy means people rule. The underlying meaning of people rule is that human beings should be our highest value over personal profits and power. So tell your representatives, call them, write them, and tell them to support a monthly stimulus package and a national mandate for ending global poverty. Because it's Christmas, and that's what Jesus would do. See you next week.